Then along comes a more enlightened group, such as the Confucius Institute, inviting me, someone who served on his local council for some 15 years, with six as mayor, to offer a view on how local governments, through the Sister City Network, have influenced the New Zealand-China relationship on a wider scale. I am heartened for three reasons. One, in my experience, no one pays much attention to the wise utterings of mayors. Two, they take even less notice of ex-mayors. But thirdly, and most seriously, I am heartened by the statement of Madame Li Xiaolin, Chair of the Chinese People's Association for Friendship with Foreign Countries, when she said, Sister cities play an important part in the modernization of China. In promoting development, we need to respect each other's differences and the stage of development each one is at. The three main points are to deepen friendship, respect each other, and to treat each other fairly. So your invitation to explore local influences via sister cities on the wider stage and especially how the Dunedin-Shanghai link has worked to the advantage of both countries and the untapped potential is one that I accepted with alacrity before it could be withdrawn. I confess to relishing the prospect of digging in this fertile ground. Indeed, to pursue this horticultural theme, the blossoming friendship forged between Dunedin and its sister city, Shanghai, most importantly, through the construction of a Chinese garden in Dunedin to commemorate the role played by the Chinese in Dunedin's heritage. Then along comes a more enlightened group, such as the Confucius Institute, inviting me, someone who served on his local council for some 15 years, with six as mayor, to offer a view on how local governments, through the sister city network, have influenced the New Zealand-China relationship on a wider scale. I am heartened for three reasons. One, in my experience, no one pays much attention to the wise utterings of mayors. Two, they take even less notice of ex-mayors. But thirdly, and most seriously, I am heartened by the statement of Madame Li Xiaolin, chair of the Chinese People's Association for Friendship with Foreign Countries, when she said, Sister cities play an important part in the modernization of China. In promoting development, we need to respect each other's differences and the stage of development each one is at. The three main points are to deepen friendship, respect each other, and to treat each other fairly. So your invitation to explore local influences via sister cities on the wider stage and especially how the Dunedin-Shanghai link has worked to the advantage of both countries and the untapped potential is one that I accepted with alacrity before it could be withdrawn. I confess to relishing the prospect of digging in this fertile ground. Indeed, to pursue this horticultural theme, the blossoming friendship forged between Dunedin and its sister city, Shanghai, most importantly, through the construction of a Chinese garden in Dunedin to commemorate the role played by the Chinese in Dunedin's heritage. A highlight was the opening of a Dunedin photographic exhibition on the 17th of April 2013 in the New Garden to celebrate the fifth anniversary um, of our garden, which is called La Nguyen. At the opening of the exhibition, Mr. Zhu Wei Min, the Deputy Director General of the Shanghai Municipal Foreign Affairs Office said, and I quote, the Lan Yuan program is not only a well-known brand of the sister city relationship between Shanghai and Dunedin, but also a model of China-New Zealand cooperation. To maintain the pure Chinese culture of Dunedin's Lan Yuan, New Garden of Shanghai and Lan Yuan of Dunedin became sister gardens in 2010. The two gardens cooperate and progress hand in hand and their friendship is a much told story of horticultural cooperation. By enjoying the photo exhibition of Lan Yuan and Dunedin, Shanghai citizens and tourists, both at home and abroad, will from a different perspective view the splendor of Lan Yuan and see the beauty of Dunedin and will learn something about the sister garden cooperation between the two gardens. Is there any better way 
or cheaper way of advertising our city and our country to the Chinese. Now when you the exhibition is there for some three months. The garden receives 1.3 million visitors a year. Everybody who visits uh, Shanghai goes to Yu Garden. And here we have pr pride of place with um, wonderful photographs that, that, that we provided of Dunedin and, and, and all its attractions as well as, as our garden. It's, uh, it, it really is a win-win situation of, of, um, of huge proportions. The prime purpose of Mayor Cole's visit was to meet with the new Mayor of Shanghai, Mr. Yang Zhong, and to sign an, up, an updated memorandum of, of understanding which will cover the next three years. Under this agreement, both cities agreed to conduct mutually beneficial cooperation in a variety of areas such as business and trade, education, tourism, culture, sport, botany and horticulture. The document records that since the sister city agreement was signed in 1994, the two cities have increased mutual understanding and deepened friendship through fruitful cooperation and exchange in the business, trade, public health, education, recreation and cultural areas. It is a high level document and action plans are uh, being established to sit underneath it. It also ties in with Dunedin's economic development strategy which was adopted last year and which includes a specific focus on Shanghai. At the signing, Mayor Cole said, our relationship has reached a level of maturity and is already supporting growing connections between our two cities. There is a high level of trust on both sides and this mutual friendship is poised to translate into an expansion of trade, economic and cultural links across the board. Mayor Yang said that of all Shanghai's sister city relationships, Dunedin is one of those with a special place in Shanghai's affections. Significantly, he went on to accept an invitation by Mayor Cull to visit Dunedin during his five year term of office. And that's something huge um, if, if it happens because it will be a very high level occasion in which I'm sure the New Zealand government would also want to play a significant role as the office of the Mayor of Shanghai has often been the stepping stone for the incumbent to attain even higher office. So to, to have the manner of the Mayor of Shanghai coming to Dunedin is, is, is really, I'd liken it to the uh, visit of the Pope <laughs> um, it's, it's not easy to, to get an audience with the Mayor of Shanghai. The Shanghai Foreign Affairs Office, which looks after the Shanghai side of the sister city relationship, has always said that the door of the Mayor's office is always open to the Prime Minister of New Zealand and the Mayor of Dunedin. During my six years as the Mayor of Dunedin, I had the privilege of meeting the Mayor of Shanghai on three occasions. On each of those occasions, I invited the New Zealand Consul General in Shanghai to accompany me because that was the only way that he or she could ever have audience with the Mayor of Shanghai. 